hello youtube welcome back to my video so in this video i'm going to share the source code of free library management project which is developed in java and the front end is jsp and back end is mysql so i'll be sharing all the source code of that and i have done that in the netbeans ide also in my one of my previous video i have shown you how to configure that in eclipse ide so some of you asked how you can do that in netbeans ide so here i'm to show you how you can uh, do that uh, in netbeans id okay so first download these two files uh, from the description I have given a link in the description you can have it this is the complete source code of uh, uh, the netbean project of the free library management project and this one is uh, a free uh, database a sample database with some books and some students information in that okay so uh, this uh, has been uh, working for one of my client for past two years as I told in my previous video so there is no bugs in that if you have any bugs you can uh, go to the uh, source code and uh, develop your I mean uh, modify your own so I'll share uh, how you can uh, do I mean configure that in the NetBeans ID and run that um, source code in NetBeans ID okay here we go so first you have to create a dynamic web project in your NetBeans ID so for that just right click on your project explorer go to a new project where you can see here the categories and project so from that select the java web and the project is a java web application and just click next and i'm giving the project name as library management system or lms and I'm going to give a dedicated library folder as uh, I'm going to put all the things as default and just click next and here, here you can select uh, that uh, server uh, in mine it is uh, Apache Tomcat so if you have Glassfish also it will work uh, for uh, it will work without any problem so to add a, uh, a server just add from here it's uh, a simple one like uh, go to the server location and just add uh, add that uh, path and just click next from here and we are not going to uh, use any of the uh, specific framework just click finish and wait for your project to be loaded yes uh, the project has been loaded as you can see here uh, there is uh, inside this there is web pages and uh, the source packages library section and the configuration files everything is there now we are going to get the source code of the library management project to this one actually you can directly import it uh, by going to file and import project and from the zip you can directly import the project to the uh, netbeans but the, when i tried that there was some error coming i don't know why it was coming the netbeans is uh, it was not actually taking it the proper way so i guess uh, this will be uh, the proper way i mean uh, copy paste in the code going to the workspace will be the best way you can do it so i'll be going with that that is okay now for that just open the source code folder and inside this just copy uh, the hrc and the web folder just copy it and go back uh, to your workspace folder so in mine uh, it is in uh, documents and uh, inside there there is netbean project there is an lms project just open it and just paste it completely and uh, just uh, just replace all of the files inside there and wait for the copy get completed just replace everything if it's asked just replace now just go to your netbeans and just see all the project files will be loaded with the new files you can see here okay the first step is finished now we can configure uh, the mysql database as you uh, as i told we are using mysql database we have to create a database in our mysql and the create the required tables okay now in my pc i have a uh, a mysql client the name of the mysql client is hidy sql so i'll share how you can install this uh, i have another video for that this code description you can download it so in mine i have a uh, configured local host in there now let me open the local host as you can see here i have this much uh, databases in my mysql so i'm creating i have to create one more database so just to create one more database it's easy in that the, as this is a ui part for mysql it's very easy now just right click on the local host and where you can see create new database and the database name i'm giving it as lms okay now press ok 
and as you can see here this is our database lms there is no tables in that in this one so we have to create the required tables uh, first okay so we can create it from uh, the code itself i have created a, a uh, create table class in our source packages in common here there is a, a table named create table just open it so uh, this class is having all the uh, required code to create uh, the tables required tables you can see here this is create table query all the queries have uh, put as a, a statement here all you need is uh, just to run this as a java application you can see here there is a main method okay now here we are calling uh, the get connection to the mysql so here it is the lms portal uh, connection class this one so this is connecting to the LMS database in my local host okay so if you are uh, creating a database with different name just uh, change it here okay so as you know uh, the mysql we need the mysql jar also so uh, we have copied all the mysql i mean all the required jars in in, uh, in the source code itself you can see here the mysql jar is here okay now from here all you need is just to run this uh, then this class and create all the required uh, required tables okay so just right click here and just select run file and wait for uh, your code to be executed completely here it is all tables are created so this is uh, printing from the last section of your uh, call me method okay so let's go to our database and see uh, if uh, the tables has been created so if i just refresh in this one you can see here inside the lms database all the required tables has been generated okay now what is next yes uh, we are ready to run the project so let's go back to our netbeans ide and you have to do a small change more i'll say what it is now let's try running this uh, the index.jsp from the web pages just open the web pages section and just right click on index.jsp and just select run file so it will be running as uh, through the tomcat server just wait for the initial loading it will take some time to load the for the first time just wait for that yes the project has been loaded so what you need to take care from here is you have to copy uh, this complete uh, link of your project and uh, come back to uh, the source pages and uh, in the comment section there is a, a common things uh, class just open it it should be same as uh, your this one this string url okay so if it's not same just uh, copy uh, the link because sometimes uh, in your pc the port number of your uh, tomcat server may be different so for this one just copy this uh, up to this lms and paste it here okay in mine it is correct so i'm not i'm not going to change if in yours it's not same sometimes uh, the project name will be different it may not be lms in yours so it should be exactly uh, your project name or exactly as the link here okay other than the slash index.jsp you should copy all these and uh, paste it here and restart your server fr uh, from here uh, in the servers just right click and restart it only after that you can log in in here sometimes if it's not if the port number is not 8080 or it, it is uh, not this one it will create an error you cannot log in okay just keep in mind because uh, when i uh, give the video of that uh, in the, the same project in my eclipse ide many people ask me why it's not running to us because the port number in your pc was different okay now let's uh, go to the project again and what is the username and password to the login so in this table there is an admin uh, table in the database just open it where you can see the data section here the username and password is jj i'm going to create one more user here you can just create it like this admin and one two three four five okay now just press outside it will be inserted in your table now i'm going to uh, log in with admin and one two three four five just come here just type admin and password as one two three four five and just sign in let's see if it's working well or not here it is the this loaded completely you can see here the total books is zero students is zero everything is zero yes uh, adding a book has been completed now you can see go to the student section you have to add a uh, student here just go to add student so just give any admission number i'm giving it as my name 
uh, grade 1 and section A description if you want any just press add student to add the student here it is and this student has been added now if you want to issue any book to this one just go to the book section and search for the book so book one you will get like this one and click on the book to see what, what all the available uh, inventories in your uh, in your uh, library okay so i'm going to issue this one so just click on issue and uh, give the student admission number so to see the student admission number search uh, the student name here and you can get the admission number just copy the admission number and uh, you can uh, paste it here so issue date is today's date return date if you want put it uh, any date if you want now just click on issue book okay now the book is has been, book has been issued so in the issue history you can see here the book is issued here and if you am going to the book section uh, the book is book one if i'm clicking this one, you can see here this book has been uh, issued and it's not available so if i'm clicking the view details we can see here who is taken that book okay so this is a basic project you can see here the total number total issue here total book out everything uh, you can see here now yes that's all uh, about this one so i have as i told i have my uh, so I have my uh, sample database 2017.data.sql uh, so this is a, a complete uh, set of books in, in this database there is some a complete set of books and uh, some student information also so let's uh, try importing this one to our LMS database so uh, I think after adding this one uh, our our project I mean uh, the project will be looking good let's see so uh, to add I mean to import dot SQL file to uh, my SQL so this is the command for that so let's try running this command from our command prompt now uh, just open uh, the command prompt as administrator just right click on the command prompt and open it as run as administrator so it will ask for the user account control just uh, click yes yes how the command prompt has been opened now just navigate to the location where you have uh, installed your mysql so in my pc it's in my computer uh, program files c drive program files and uh, there is mysql no mysql server file so inside the bin folder there is mysql.exe so we are going to use this one to import the database okay now yes uh, we have to take uh, the link from the copy it come back to the mysql command prompt uh, just uh, enter the command cd and inside this place the link and just press enter yes we have just navigated to location where the mysql is installed now we have to update uh, the query i mean uh, the command so this is the command where you have to update uh, your information as the so this is the username of your uh, mysql so it's root in mine so you know you don't need to get the put the password so the database name we have to import is lms just put as lms if it's different in us just put it as it is now we have to put the uh, complete sql path or sql name now just copy uh, the path from here it's in desktop in mine so just paste the path here so it, it should be inside the quotes double quotes and give uh, the SQL name so it's 2007 including the dot SQL extension just paste it and now copy uh, the command completely and uh, come to uh, the command prompt copy it come to command prompt and just paste it and just press enter so it will ask the password for your MySQL just put it a uh, root as in mine and just press enter okay now just wait for uh, the database to be uh, loaded it will take uh, one or two seconds yeah it's low so it executed without any error which means uh, it has imported it successfully without any error now let's go to our command uh, i mean uh, our database and uh, let's uh, refresh this and see Yes, all the tables has been imported. Now let's go to our project and try re-login re in this one. Let me log out this it and I have a username as J and J and let's try login in here. Here it is. Uh, so we have 5000 books here, 743 students here and total there is 71 books out. So if I'm going to is, uh, issue history, you can see here. Uh, 
the list of books which has been uh, issued and all the student information is here and if I'm clicking view all student you can see all the students here so if I'm clicking this one you can uh, see the issue history uh, if uh, there is any book issued previously so all these categories are there all these type of books are there so if I'm clicking this one these type of books are there and if I'm clicking this one so in this inventory there is no inventory for this book so in the global warming also no inventory okay hope you got this uh, if you have any problem just let me know I believe uh, everything is okay so I have hosted uh, this project in one of my link the link is library.kolachak.com and you can see here it's running the the username is admin and the password is admin321 and just login you can see here online okay it's uh, I'm, I have hosted this in online so there is uh, some test someone is added and uh, can try everything issuing everything okay so you can just go to this link and try everything so hope you got this if you have any doubt in this uh, please comment below i'll share all the source code in my description you can have it and uh, yes uh, please like and subscribe for my videos and thanks for watching